welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So today, even though you've probably already seen me working on this one, I'm kitting up my Prism Diamond painting. This is, I actually did look it up what it's called. This is called Luna Moth and it's by Tracy Hazelwood, Hazelwood um, which is one of the licensed artists on Prism diamond painting in the UK they do I believe ship worldwide I want to say um, but they are a UK based diamond painting company because we need some good ones right it is a 70 by 100 centimeters so I got a lot um, so this has in it um, 48 colors so I believe I've got like 51 containers in my box um, because I've done a bit of higgery jiggery pokery with the containers so I've got 13 there uh, plus 8 um, which is oh my god yeah, judging my maths here um, plus tw it's 21 29 um, plus 5 is 34 35 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51. So, what we are going to do is we're going to kit this up today. But if you look on the sheet, what's awesome is it tells me the quantity as well. Um, but I don't think I'm going to be able to put that on the boxes. So, trying to think how I'm going to do it, it's two sheets, I think we are just going to do symbol and DMC, uh, let's just have a look if they like fit on, that should fit on, the only worry is the size of the sticker but I'll make it work, I'm going to make it work, it'll be fine, so let's sort our stickers out first. Because with these boxes, that's the thing, you kind of need to put them in size order, um, which isn't always easy. Um, but if I've got the quantities listed at least somewhere, um, hopefully that will be a little bit easier. Now, I've just realised that needs to go over there. So, this is um, my Fisca trimmer, which I haven't used many times. I bought it not too long back, so I am sort of getting used to it. I know a lot of people use the Fisca trimmers. Um, it's only an A5 because it's all they had in stock. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to like cut the... Do you want to do that? I'm going to get the scissors. <laughs> just for right now, just to do this. Because, like I said, it's only A5. And I've got more than A5, so... Um, I'm just going to put down... I think they are in... DMC order, yep, yeah, so don't really need the numbers and then I just want, I need the DMC number because that will be easy to kit down with when I'm done, so that's why I keep the DMC on there but I also want the symbols, so that one and then Let's just put the Fisca trimmer away. It's easy when <laughs> it can cut to A5, but not when I don't, when I need more than A5, should I say. So we're just using scissors because it's just easier. In general, I just use my scissors. And cut down like this. 
too much fucking, they don't have to be perfect. But I'm really not bothered if they're perfect or not, so. I just need to cut off my symbols and the numbers to put on my boxes and that's all I need. Okay, so I'll keep the list with like the quantities on for now but I've got two, two like sheets so I'm just going to pop that in my Xyron Stracamo cut and you've got to try to get it, especially with a long one like this going in straight or she screwed. So let's just hope I've put these in straight enough. I'm so nervous. I'm feeding straight. Come on. Oh, are we are we going off on a slant? I feel like these top ones might be coming off on a wonk. Please go in straight. Oh! I think we've literally just made it straight. Okay, got it. Yep, <laughs> so they've gone on a bit of a wonk, but they've finally got straight, so that's the first one. And then the other one, let's try to get it in the centre. It is really difficult with the zones. I really like it, but it is difficult um, to get them going in straight. I feel like this is automatically on a wonk. Oh no. Uh, yeah, it is. Come on. I'm really bad at it. But, yeah. <laughs> so, this one's come on along. But I think there is a way of like getting the additional sticky. Because like, you peel off the back and then it puts the sticky on this sheet. And then maybe I can like just stick it on these that are coming off. not work anyway that was a complete fail but I might chop some of that off actually anyway so there's the sticky sheets so let's just chop these off so I just like to cut down them like this. I'm really not doing well at explaining what I'm doing today, am I? I've had a week at um, doing my teacher training, so I'm just really shattered to be fair. It's been a lot. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, it usually works really well if I put these into strips of 10. So, eight, nine, ten, <laughs> otherwise it just gets too much. So, just cut them into strips of 10 like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the quantities to try and order them. Which who knows if that's going to go well. Um, or not. So they're in size order. 
and then I can put the drills into my boxes. So that's the plan. The execution, don't know if it's gonna work or not, but my plan is there. That we'll put them in size order, stick them up, and then we'll put the drills in. So, yeah, I'm really excited to do this with Prism. They, they reached out, they were wanting people um, to actually do their products so they can get pictures of them and they asked me if I'd also like to do it um, and obviously then I've got another image to show you guys as well on um, my YouTube channel which is great you know I love that I love showing you guys like new products out there, new diamond paintings, so I just thought why not, I will say sure, um, I don't have as much time to diamond paint on my hands but I do find that in an evening anyway, I, I kind of do more than I do during the day, I think it's just because it's really like easy for me to just sit down on my bed and diamond paint, um, I can usually get a couple of squares done in the evening. So, I'm definitely not the slowest person, but it will be one that I am doing for a little while because this is 70 by 100, so there's going to be a lot of drills for me to put away today, but they are individually bagged, which is amazing. I love when companies individually bag drills because it just means that if I do have any spares that I can't get into my containers which you can guarantee on a painting that is 50 by, uh, 70 by 100 sorry I'm going to have quite a few that I can't get into my boxes um, I don't need to faff about I actually brought them down because I forgot what did I? oh yeah I did um, I brought down all my spare bags I've got like a little pot which I'll get you in a second keep this pot here with all like my spare baggies in it uh, that I've got from like usually diamond art club kits or any kits that give you spare bags and I keep them all in here for when I need to use them so I brought that down thinking oh, I'll probably need to use them and yeah I've not needed to so what I'm doing is I've got these in order because I've not got the numbers on these anymore I'm just going to look for the quantities and go smallest to largest. So I don't know how much I can get on the screen. So I kind of need to open that anymore. Okay, so I might actually get a pen and write them on the board actually for this and this thing. Got a pencil. I found a pencil. Okay, so uh, 201, is there anything less than 200? No, so that's number one. Um, 397, 335. So that's number two, and then number three. I don't know why I'm circling it. <laughs> Um, four, four, three. So I'm looking for the four hundred, four nine nine. No, so then four five. Um, then the five hundreds. I've got a few that are five hundred. So five, four, three. Um, five, seven, two. Oh, I thought I'd more than that. Oh, five, four, one. So, three, four, five, six, where was the other five? Five, seven, 
then what was that so i've got 600 so 616 six six three nine six three five so six sixteen is next that's eight and then six three two do you know what this is not working very good at all right let me put on the ones that i've got so far so one, two, three, four, five, six, six, two, three. So what I'm trying to do now, I think this is failing miserably. But I'm trying to count down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So the eleventh one. one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So seven, two, six is the one with the least amount on it so let's pop that in fact no, i'm gonna it's a bit big for it but it'll be fine i'm just gonna stick it on like that so that's how it's gonna look on my containers so 726 is the first one and then number two is one two three four five six so one, two, three, four, five, six is here. I'm gonna do it like this and then I've realized I think on the bags there is like the weight. I'm gonna double check, but I think on the bags it gives the weight of the drills. So I think we're just gonna do it that way after this. Um, number one, two, three, four is next. So 402. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, six, nine. So I'm just trying to stick up the bags. This is probably literally the most inefficient way of doing this, but I have started now, so we're going for it. Uh, okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. The next one. Because what I've just realised is I've got loads of these little small parts, so actually it doesn't matter because like all the 600s are going in a small part, so I'm like faffing about for nothing. Um, so I actually think that's probably the best way to do it. So, um, what was I in fact? So, then the second to last. One is next. So I'm just going to do it like that, like look for all the 600s and put them stick it up and then look for all the 700s and then when we get to the crossover that's when I need to like do something different. But we'll go for now. So then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, the tenth. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine ten seven one eight that's like a pink color i'm trying to put them back in somewhat of an order as well which will make finding the numbers when putting the diamonds in a lot quicker um one two three four five six seven one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one is next. I feel like I'm going to mess this up majorly, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's 
messy up, but I mess it up. So, and then I only went to eight. Eight is the biggest one. There we go. So that's all the, that's like the start of the 600, isn't it? Eight. So 315 is the best. Right, so anything with 600 on it can go next. So, um, from the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, oh. Oh, from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, this one. So these two are in the 600s. I like them in DMC or numerical order just because they're easier to find, um, especially when I'm putting stuff in the baggies. So that's just kind of how I do it. Um, second from the top, three one six. No, it's the second from this top. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four, four from the bottom. One, two, three, four. I feel like I'm seriously gonna mess this up and it's just gonna be like, oh well, I've messed it up. So. I'll take that out. Okay. So I'm gonna put them in order. Um, and then that's all the 600, so we need any with 700, lots of drills in it. I don't think I have. No, none of them. So 800. So I'm just going down the list and just trying to find. Okay, so three from the bottom. One, two, three. And 996. Nine, Um, which is here. Um, what was that on 800s? And then the top of the oh, of the next one. Okay, so officially it's taken me that long to do this that my camera battery saved and it didn't record it. So. <laughs> I don't know how much you've seen but basically I'm going down my list and I am trying to work out what order they go in size because it had the quantities on um, and then I'm sticking up the containers. So I'm on um, 3364 which I believe has 942, 942 um, drills that is needed for the painting. So. That is essentially oh, what I'm doing. So I'm just like trying to put them in in order as I go along. Um, and then so I'm still in the 900s. So there's no more colours. With that 900 in it so i'm on to a thousand so we've got 
this one which is one, two, three, four, five down. One, two, three, four. Oopsies. Oh no, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's this one. I didn't count the top. I was like, oh my god, I've already screwed up. I do genuinely believe, guys, I'm going to screw this up. Uh, so, it's only a matter of time before it goes horribly wrong. So, I'm just, I'm just letting you know that it will definitely go wrong. I can totally picture it. Um, 413. But, that's just how it is. Uh, thousand so here we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine so that's the bottom of this one i just i can imagine myself counting it basically wrong and yeah i can just see myself counting it wrong and then having to Hopefully it won't make much of a difference if I count something wrong, but we don't know, so I'll see. Five five three. If it does, at least the nice thing with Prism is that we are in baggies um that are already pre-labeled and stuff, so um I've just realised when I go into the thousands, like it doesn't matter what is the next number. Both of them are like one zero, so then we need I've got a one five, one nine, one two, one eight, one four, one one. Okay, so one one is next. So one two three four five six seven. Because I'm getting close to running out of the smallest one, so that's why I say one. I'm sorry. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I may as well bring all these out. So all these are like little containers. I've got four left. next ones go in the smallest so three seven is that okay and then so I was doing one one and then one two is the last one so the white if I can get it off it's all really faffy this so it is quite a big painting so I do think that I usually do faff around when they are big paintings um, I'm usually a very faffy person I feel like that doesn't go in there there we go um, and then so we've done one two I don't think there is any one three I think it's one four and one five yeah so one four is one two three four five six, um, which is one two three four five six. This one. We are getting there slowly but surely, guys, because I've nearly finished all of the little containers. Um, three seven two seven, which is there. Um, and then the last one, just say it was a, Oh, we've got another one for. Oh no, oh, we've got another one, two. Okay, the second one is a one, two, so I'll just put that one on. I don't think like 70 drills is going to make much of a difference anyway. So there we go. Uh, three, one, six. Is here? Okay. So, I've done them. I want to scribble them off. Two, that one's left. One. My dad is back from the shopping. 
So let me just pause for a minute and while he's going to make a load of sound. Okay, so I was so right. I screwed up. You know, probably knew it was going to happen. When I thought it was like the last one, it was actually the last one on the first um, sheet. So it should have been the one down here and I put 3865 on. Which I did think was weird because it was, you know, the last white. But, um, it, sorry, it was a white one and I didn't think it would have not many. It turned out it had like 4,000. So I did manage to get the um, sticker off of like the F. But I didn't get the sticker to pull off the um, DMC number. So I've just written that on another sticker and I'll put two stickers on the box. So that screwed up. But then I have started like scribbling stuff off now. So... Hopefully it'll work out. So I've just stuck one to the paper. I've just stuck this one up. Come on, Charlie. So that's that one. Nine six three. Um, which let's like move these all down. Like that. So nine six. Three goes there, um, and then we've got this one that's four down from here. So one, two, three, four. It's a lot easier, I tell you, when she's like scribbled stuff out um, on my list. So I will keep scribbling it out with the pencil. So. That's that one. I'm just looking for the rest of the ones. I think I've got now. So the twos. So, because I've got plenty of these medium sized boxes. So the two is this one here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can finally get rid of this one so that's that um, and then five one nine goes there um, so that's that one and then um, more two so one two three this one and the one underneath it so I'll just take out some more boxes um, so one two three is that one and then the one underneath it is seven nine nine I feel like now I've got some gaps it's just gonna work out a lot easier so um, down like, like so um and then we need that's that one we need more two so and then skip one and then these two. So this one's a 2000. And this one's a 2000. Do you know what? It's like some of the most common blue colours I thought would have more in this painting. But I think. They're not because there's that many blue colours if you know what I mean. So there is quite a few um, shades. So because there's a lot of shades, there's less of each colour. Um, so these go here. Eight, one, eight, two, three. Oh, can barely fit one in. So I'll just move one of the boxes. And we'll sort that out in a minute. 
by doing this. There we go. Okay, so that was another two. That's the best for that page. And then this one here. So let's get them two and one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. We've got the first one of this little strip. Is this colour? This number R and it is 3808. I think these are all letters, numbers, a few symbols in this painting. Um, which is fine. They're all really, really, well, they're clear at least on the sheet. So let's see how they are. Obviously I'm painting, but I think they are pretty clear prism. They do a really, really good job with their canvases. So then that's that one, and then that one, and then this one here. You three eight one five. There's so many pretty colours in this. I can really impress. They're pinks and blues, and they are probably my favourites. If I had to pick, I would definitely say they're, they're like my favourite sort of colours. Um, that's that one. Okay, so now we're on to the three thousands. We are getting there, guys. Um, so. These ones here, and next, seven three nine and seven four six. So let's get these out. We've only got five more of the like smaller boxes and then we move on to the larger ones so seven three nine seven four six go there may as well get out all the five okay so that is them two and then that one as well. So we've finished two strips of my stickers. 803. It's gonna go there. That's that one. And then second and from the bottom is 996. Okay. Yeah, it's so much easier now. Now that I've got um like more gaps than I have what's remaining, it is a lot easier to stick her up. So that's that. And then the next two, so one, two, three, four, five. I'm just double checking. Yeah, that works out fine. Um, so three, six, oh, nine is there. And then the top one of these. Three, seven, six, one. Needs to go here. That. And then we've got two and a 
gap and then that one. You can get them off. They are very sticky, um, these stickers. But they are... And that's the last of the 3000s. Yeah, they are very sticky now, permanent stickers. So if you wanted non-permanent, you may want to go for, you can buy like non-permanent cartridges of that sticker maker. So that might be an option for yourselves. Okay, so we are on to the 4000s. We have barely any left, guys. So, 4,000 is the last one. So I can officially put the white onto the pot now. So I'm just gonna have to put the F sticker and then, cause I do want the DMC code. <laughs> that's how I like to do. So not great, but that's me being a dum-dum. So. Okay, and then the 5,000s. So it is the second one here. Yeah. So to be honest, I am being a bit dumb. What is the most? The most is three, seven, six, five. So why don't I just put that on the biggest container? Like so. And then I can stick her up the rest. Because that would be a smart idea. I do have like three containers left over with this though. Oh actually, yeah. Yeah, three containers left over because there's 48 colours and I think I have 51. So, they're my leftovers. Let's just pop these in order. So, nine, six, three, six, four, sorry. It's gonna go here. And then, Three seven six five three seven six six three eight four two three eight four four. So then um three six three seven three fifty three six one. That one goes there, and then. Um, that one goes there, and then three, eight, four, three, so three, eight, four, two. I don't think these will go in a nice order. 3843, 3844, 3846, 3865, because these need to go back. Oh, that one can go there. Oh, so I could get that there. Could I? No, that won't go there. I need to move down. Down. Hmm. So they're not going to quite fit in order, I don't think. Because I need somewhere to put this box. Sorry about the background noise guys, I say it all the time but I do live in a house 
with some people. So what I'm going to do is put that there, that way, put that there. No. Okay. Um, I need a small one to go here. I'm going to have to put that there. And then move it down. I don't even know what I'm doing. How am I going to get these in? I have absolutely no idea, guys. Eight to eight. I think, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to leave that one out. Put it somewhere safe and not have it in and have these in order. That would be probably the better idea. So I'm just gonna leave that extra pot out. Because there are little gaps, but there's not enough to like shove stuff in. Do you know what I mean? So I think that's what we're gonna do. Three, seven, Three seven two seven eight 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 three eight four three. I think I'm just going to leave it like this and have this one left over. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, so hopefully this part of the video now is going to be super smooth. Um, let me just get rid of some of this rubbish from the stickers. And then we'll just pop colours. So. I'll just get one of our bags out. So like I said, the bags already have the numbers on them and they are grip seal baggies, which is great. So, all we gotta do is get them out, open them up, and pour them in the containers. So, let's have a look. So four, three, four, is here they're like big size grip seal bags as well i mean i could have done it on the grams that were in the the bags because it does tell you the grammage oh okay we have some static in the drills so i think i'm going to need a tray so give me a second I've just stolen one of my trays because these are very very staticky I don't know if they all are but this colour is I can't even get them out come on like I've never had stuff like that before in any drills they're just not wanting to come out the bag come on so I figure, put it in one of our trays. Obviously they have a funnel. 
oh my goodness for the like I think that's just made it even worse. They are full on jumping. Oh my goodness. Let's have a look. Oh my days, they're jumping all over. Oh, what am I going to do? I can't even get them out. Have that into my hand. Wow, these are really staticky. I hope they're not all like this. Mom, I don't know what to do. All these drills are like super static. Are you getting them all over my table? I'm trying not to, but they're just jumping all over. They won't come out, I've put them in even the tray and they just won't even come out of the tray. So I just stuck to my hand. Oh gosh, okay. Well. I don't know. Some people say blow on them. No, oh, it's shit. all over the place. Yeah, I've just blown. Everywhere. Yeah, that doesn't work. They a little bit, a little um, brush, a little like a uh, paintbrush. No. I have one of those. Right, I know it's a bit big, but it might fluff down into it. <laughs> are they doing it? Yeah. Or are they just getting stuck in the funnel? I don't know. Are they? They're slightly, yeah, they're all out, they're on the table. <laughs> Hopefully they'll calm down. Do you have any, I don't think you do, any, um, oh, what they call unstoppables or anything like that? Right. No. Because they apparently stop static. I think they'll calm down potentially in the box. Who knows? But there's not a lot of them anyway, so let's have a look. What? Not a lot of what? That colour. Is it just that colour? I don't know. I'm hoping so, or we'll be here all day. Uh, four, nine, six. Well, I didn't have any problems on the other prison and paintings. No, I know, that's what I'm saying. That's why I just think it might be the colour. Right, I've just blowed into that bag. Oh yeah, these are much better. So it is just that colour. Mm -hmm. This is such a long kitten up. I thought it would be super duper quick. But it's not. Once again, you can never like realistically estimate the time it's going to take because it always just Blows out of the window. How long? Five, five, three. And my camera battery may die, so if it does, I think I'm just gonna continue until I don't know. So not all of these can go in this part, but I will just I'll keep it this full up like that, and then. Like I said, the nice thing is you can just keep them in the baggies and I'll just put them to one side. Four, one, three. And then I'll fill up the top like when I need more. Oh gosh, these are a bit static as well. But I don't need them all yet, so maybe it gives them time to calm down by the time that I need more. The blowing in the bag doesn't really work. Oh, it's not for me right now. It's kind of just not doing anything, really. They're just really static, like right? they're just sticking to everything. You are? 
I don't know, I've just seen it on videos before, like, oh, if you blow in the bags, it helps, but they're really static, some of these colours. I don't know what causes it either. So, I really don't know. Yeah, these are as well. But that's why I'm thinking it's either a, like a temperature thing or something. But they say to put dryer sheets in them. It's like water when you put it in a balloon, isn't it? That will cause it static. Mm. And then when you rub friction, when you rub your balloon on your head and things like that, it's where the water will cause it as well, isn't it? Is it? There you go then, a science lesson. Not all over to it, there's probably somebody <laughs> out there that knows that I'm all going to put me right. They just don't want to come out of this bag. Just a silly theory that I've. They're just literally just going all over. With... Yeah. It is quite hot, it has been ridiculously hot in the UK uh, these few days, like 28 degrees, 26 degrees. So. It could very well be the case, but they just don't even... They just... like some lovely bright colours in there. Yep, they are. I can't get them out. I've never ever had an issue with satin. Would you like me to come and help you put a few in? I think you're going to need to. Well, I'm going to need to. Well, I just <laughs> will help you. Yeah, I know, but that's what I mean. I think I'm going to need some help. Can you try to get the rest of them in there? Right, two man job. <laughs> Nine, six, six. Mum can deal with the static. I feel like she's got more patience. <laughs> Are you joking? To deal with that, yeah. Right. So that bag's still got some leftovers, a 966. Uh, 3766. Here. Yeah. They are like huge bags of some like I'm I bet I've got loads of bags left over. But like that hasn't even scratched the surface. Oh, it's square. I prefer square, I think. Yeah, you know. it is. It's a square painting. I think I like square better. I prefer to use my tweezers. I might be wow. sad. Okay. Now I'm just saying, wow, well, like you prefer to use tweezers. Yeah. I don't think it's sad. I think there's quite a few people that prefer to use tweezers. There you go, where does it go? Well luckily there was no static in 3865 which was the biggest bag and I've still got some left. Right, where are we at? Just pick a, pick a colour and... Um, what colour do I like? <laughs> well let's not spending half an hour choosing what colour you like. And just get them put in. 3814, here. They're in numerical order, so. Three, seven, two, seven. Is this, oh. You haven't got a very big box for this one, and it's massive. I know. Well, I have got a couple of boxes left over, but a lot of them are gonna be massive, so just put whatever you can in, and then I'll decide what can go in a box. What else can I do? Not much. Three, eight, ten. 
yeah it's a big painting isn't it so there's going to be a lot of colours that but that's why I chose to use these boxes because I thought if I use my um do you know the screw on ones mm -hmm. they're, not as big, are they? they're not as big and they're all the same size so at least with this I can I want another one of these when are you ordering again from Prism do you uh, when am I ordering for, what do you want another one of these boxes yeah. Yeah, Prism do these boxes as well. Um, I don't know when I'm going to order. I need to order. In fact, I need to order some more tips, don't I? Because I owe you a tip, but I stole. Yeah, and <laughs> I want another flat thing. I don't know. Yeah, 3 8 3 There you go. You can do that purple because you like purple. Um, yeah. It went over here, didn't it? Which one are you in there? I feel like I've done something wrong here. Oh no, let's just have a big gap. 3844. Four. Yeah, I think they're I think they're a bit of storage units to be honest. What then the screw on ones. Screw ones. I'm gonna do like a storage comparison, I think. Um, you know where I get them all out and I say what I... So we've got a few different types now. So I thought... Yeah, have you got some even more ones? Well, I've got them... Um, oh, uh, what are they called? The Harbour Freight containers. Do you know the ones that I was using for like the White Tiger? Are they similar to this? They're a bit similar, but um, they're all the same size. Oh, are they? Yeah. Are they big or small? They're quite big, yeah. But they're from America, so I got them on Amazon, so I have kind of overpaid for them, but they are quite good. Because in America they're getting for like $5.99 or something like that. Right. Yeah. But because of shipping... Well, I'm not too paid for them, luckily then. Um, so the ones on Amazon I basically pay like £18 for. That's nice though, because sometimes you have, you know, you get more, you can get more in them. So that you'd have how many is in there? About six. Oh, mom. Oh yeah. Well, I'll deal with it. No, uh, we'll just leave it. I've tipped it up trying to get the others in. Silly woman. Oh dear, it's down me. Down me. Crevice. That's why Do you I want have me to a, get the tweezers. That's why I have a tablecloth on. Yeah. Yeah, but it. I food on it. <laughs> Yeah. So I've just moved it. Your lots of ones that put it on, you should take them off when... I know, but you already put your diamond painting on the table so I couldn't get the cloth off, so I just pushed it back. Sorry about the arguing between the uh. family, uh, family feuds. They find it funny. They find me and you bickering funny. <laughs> Do they? I think so. I do anyway when I listen to it back. It's not really fun. It, um, sad is it really? Well you won't have it long will you? No, well, no. I'll fill you up and give you some grief down. <laughs> You'll have to actually start watching my YouTube videos so you know what's going on. Can I have my tweezers please? Shall I go get them? Oh I've got a pair of tweezers in the box. I've got lots of pairs of tweezers. It's because I was trying to get, I knocked it over because I was trying to get this. They are very static these ones. I don't know what's happened to them. Oh, I don't like these ones. Uh, oh, I just picked up a random pair of tweezers. Oh, yeah, ones. These, are, these are rubbish. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. They are rubbish tweezers. They're in the uh. Oh, yes. All right, nine, three, nine. Are you doing it? Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm yeah, amazing. I mean, is it? <laughs> You're amazing with tweezers, are you? Yeah, blooming. My mother likes to brag. <laughs> not on my own face, I'm not, but I'm good with them on the face. All right. Mm. Now, there's some beautiful colours in this painting. Three, one, six. Some dirt out of my table. Oh my god, that's disgusting. <laughs> my table's got like these little cracks in it, and 
Yeah. They're meant to be in it. They're not cracks, as in. No, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know what to call them. Do you call them? I don't know. Where did I put my brush? I don't know where you put that brush. Can we focus on the job at hand instead of cleaning your table? No, because once I see things, I have to do it. 3.609. Get over. It's your dirty little buggers. Uh, who sits there? Dad. Yeah. And um, uh, there's some down here. And you sit here. I have a tablecloth on it all the time. I know, it's just dirt. dirt. It's fluff. Oh it. no, it's... no, I'm doing more. I'm not doing any more. I'm trying to get these last bits in and just... That's the point, you've got to help. I know it's the static's ridiculous in there. It must definitely, I think it's definitely the weather. It's nothing ever against a company when you get static in your drawers. There's literally nothing you can do to help it. Um, but maybe we need some dryer sheets. And to put them in the bags. Where are you going to get them from? I have absolutely no idea. I've never seen dryer sheets in my life. I don't know what they are. You're the one that buys all sorts for the laundry. Oh, you mean tumble drying sheet? Yeah. Oh, I think I might have some somewhere. Do you? Yeah. Well, if I haven't chucked them away, because I did start using them and then I didn't bother. Well, apparently if you put like a little square of tumble drying sheets and it gets rid of the static. Mm. We've them out, yeah. I don't know. That. Does that work like? I don't know, I'll let you know in a minute. <laughs> I doubt it. They're just going to go all over again. Oh, not bad. Three, oh, seven, two. We have got more light. <laughs> got a second bag full. For God's sake. I wish I'd not agreed to help now. <laughs> <laughs> All these are ones I'll put them in a pretty bag in a minute, but I'm going to shove them in here. These are all what's already gone in and the extras. It's a pretty bag. What do you mean a pretty bag? I, um, that like zip flop, you know them like zippy bags that I gave you one? I gave you a purple one, didn't I? Oh yeah, do you put all your... That's where I put like the extras um, for paintings in, yeah. Well, there's one in there and I can't get it. Three, seven, six, five, I've got an extra bag. I've got to get it out. Um, nine, nine, six. Is that? That's available there. Right, we are. Have you done it? Well, no. in order, Mother. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Can I have a small one? <laughs> have a look. I think the small don't. ones are more staticky. That's why I'm going for the big bags. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because I don't need to put them all in so I can deal with I'm hoping that by the time I come to, you know, going back in them again to get more out, that the static's gone down. That's my aim anyway. Oh, 803. Oh, 803. Yeah, cause these bags are huge. I've got so many colours in this. Gonna have lots of spares, I reckon. Which I like. You like the spares. Do you? Yeah. My aim is to be able to complete a full painting on squares one day, like, you know, like a heaven and earth design. Mm -hmm. See? That's why I didn't pick the small bags. <laughs> you can deal with the small bags, I'll deal with the big bags. You're a bit crafty, you. I'm not crafty, I'm just logic. This daughter of mine has been the bane of my life. <laughs> You're going to miss me when I'm gone. It's a good job. I love her. You're going to miss me when I'm gone. Stop saying things like that, it's not nice. <laughs> what? I am. I'm moving out soon. 
Yeah. But it means Sarah can't see you ever again, does it? No, I know. I just mean you're going to miss me winding you up daily. <laughs> oh, no, that'll be a blessing in disguise. <laughs> You're going to miss, like... I think you're going to miss me. I've been told that uh, you miss mummies more than they miss you. But did you miss your mum more than Yeah, she when she's gone, because I needed her for lots of time. No, I'm not doing it, yeah. No, I can't do it in your bed with me. No, I'm not. You are. Big <laughs> four, two. This is a huge bang. Just because you haven't got no patience. Zip it. I don't think I'm farting about using them like three extra spare boxes or two extra spare boxes because literally I can't deal with the static. I haven't got the patience for it. It's all it's not that it's when they're getting thing like that, like you're getting you're putting too many in the box as well, you know, so this is. I know, but then I don't have to deal with it later, so just do it. <laughs> Just fill it up, they'll all go in that box, I'm sure. Feel pain. There's 75. I know. I don't know who's screaming outside our house, but somebody. Maybe we can hear Daniel from upstairs because he's got his window open. He's not in, is he? Is he not? Where's our Daniel? Well, honest, he's come in now, but he, we went and slapped out last night at his friend's house. Oh, I ain't heard him come home yet. Yeah, we rarely see Daniel, don't we? <laughs> he, uh, yeah, he's very much an independent boy. He likes to be off out and he enjoys his... He just comes back for food and... Food me washes clothes, food and washing, showering, which goes in about That's why Daniel won't move out three ever. times a day. Because he's you know, he's got it too easy. Because mummy does everything for him. I'm doing enough for you and all, babe. I know. But at least I know how to live on my own. <laughs> Daniel well, This will be <laughs> this will become apparent when we get Daniel doesn't even know how to cook. He claims he does, but he really doesn't. He can tie my bacon on it. <laughs> yeah, he can tie, he can make bacon. He can put bacon on the grill. That's it, that's all the boy can do. Or maybe put pizza in the oven. Yeah, put pizza in. But he can't even actually time it himself because he's like, he can't read a blooming clock. He has to like, go silly set a timer for 15 minutes. Uh, you can't talk, you do that sometimes. Yeah, I do it, but at least I can read a clock. I'm trying to send me some can't read a clock. Oh my god, there's another full bag of nine three nine. Jeez. Seven three nine. This pot is far too fat. Look, and then that don't come back. You can do it and then I'll I'll shut the lid. It'll all go in. It's fine. We're ending up with more extra bags than we are like actually ones that I've been able to chuck away because we've used up. Be careful. I'm going to be careful. You just have to like push them out from that. And there you go. Yes. Finally. Nine, six, three. Why are you picking my big bags now? I'm leaving you all little ones. Here look. Yeah. I don't want the yeah. tiny ones, they take ages, yeah. go away. They yeah. just that. I don't know, like a bit of, uh, just a bit of like plastic rubbish. 3808. It's disgusting. Uh, it's a bit of trash. Oh, it could have been something that you've dug up out of your thing. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, we are on low battery, the camera is flashing. So, I think me and Mum are going to finish this. Um, and then I will just like show you guys when I'm done because this is such a long video and we're just dealing with basically static um, and my camera takes ages to charge up and me and my daughter are just talking with it yeah which people like but my camera takes ages to charge up so I'd literally be we'd be doing it again this evening and I need to get cracking on the painting so 
uh, yeah, we'll leave it there and then I will come back to you when we've done it. Right guys, so me and mum have eventually done it. It was a nightmare, right mother? Yeah. It was an absolute nightmare, but we have finished it. Now all I want to do is just um, stick her up my container so I know what this is. Now, I haven't showed you these on the channel yet, I don't think. Um, but I made myself some stickers, um, which basically you can put, you can see the name, the size, the brand and the diamond shape of your diamond paint. So you've got the info to stick on top of your boxes. For ones that I already had on my list that I've got, that weren't diamond art because they give you a sticker, um, I've done them like that. But for everything else, I haven't. But I do have some that are, um, that don't have any information on it. So I can put it on myself. So I'll take one of these. So it is Luna Moth. It is a 70 by 100 centimetre. It is prism. And it is a square diamond painting so I can pull that sticker off now and I can stick it to the top of my box I just love them they're so cute and they say Alicia on them because oh my god that's so heavy mum this is literally so heavy there's that many diamonds in it so it is done I can't believe how many diamonds there are in this painting I have got all these extras as well which thank the lord prism do them in like spare bags because if they didn't we would have had to try and put all of them into extra baggies and it would have just been absolute hell so thankful to prism for that um i am keeping the picture so i can put it in my love book um and i think that is me all sorted like i said you've probably seen me working on it already um, but yeah, this is how I kitted it up. This is the nightmare they came to. Honestly, I feel like the start of this video was awful. So if you did get this far, you got to the fun bit. But anyway, thank you so much for liking, subscribing, commenting, and of course watching. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one.